Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today we're going to look at volume problems and we are going to find the volume of a staircase shape. And of course, we cannot have a class without our student of the semester and that's Charlie. He better be ready. Charlie! Whoa, whoa, what? Charlie, what are you doing? Taking a nap? What? What is this? Take out a piece of paper and a pencil and let's get ready to go. Oh. Today we're doing volume. Now, you did the homework, right? Yeah. Oh, you did, huh? Okay, Charlie, what does volume mean to you? Oh, how many ounces am I? Bente, caramel, macchiato, soy, no whip, hot chocolate Are you sprinkles? sure you did the homework, Charlie? Yeah. All right, well, start paying attention here. Okay, <laughs> we're doing volume today and let's go and list the equation for you right there. Volume is length times width times height. There you go, Charlie. Now. Here's a rectangular solid right here, Charlie. Now, which is the length? This way. And the width? This way. And the height? This way. Very good. Okay, so we are going to be working with a staircase shape, just like this. Now, our approach is to either break this up into vertical slices, as it's shown right here, which in, in which case we'd have one, two, and three, or we can do horizontal slices, which we can do horizontally, and that would be one, two, three and three, okay? And this is the approach that we're going to use to find the volume of this staircase shape. Okay, let's get going. So there's our bottom rectangular solid, there's the middle one, and there's the top. Oh, okay. Now look at your workbook. Now those of you that are working from home, you better have your workbook out. Don't make me come over there. Yeah! And the bottom length was given to be how much, Charlie? 20 inches. 20 inches, that's good. Okay, now remember that 20 inches is the same as the top of that bottom piece there. Okay, now look at your workbook. And, Charlie, what's the length of that first step? Seven inches. That's right, seven inches. Okay, now, how do we find that missing length? This is 20, that's seven over there, Charlie. So, what's the missing length, Charlie? Thirteen. That's right. How did you get that? Twenty subtract seven. Twenty subtract seven, that's good. Okay, now, notice, thirteen is the same as the top right there. Okay, now we're up to the next step. Okay, and what was that length, Charlie? Three inches. Three inches, very good. So. That's 13, over there is 3, and so what's left over? Charlie! 10! 10. 10 inches, there you go, okay. So there's the bottom, now we'll go up to the top there, there it is, that's 10, okay. Now, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you a three-dimensional picture of our staircase. There it is, Ooh. oh that's cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to separate our staircase shape into three rectangular solids. So, here we go, Charlie. Oh, but first, don't forget, before we go there, you were given the widths in your workbook. Oh. Okay, Charlie, the widths were all what? Three inches. Three inches, okay. Now we're ready to separate the solids. See, I got distracted. Keep it down over there, Charlie. Oh, was... Okay, Shh. take a look at this, Charlie. Here we go. There's oh. one, there's two, and there's three. Okay, there you go, Charlie. Oh, you're fascinated, huh? Oh. Yeah, okay. So anyway, we'll label that top one over there as one. This one up here we'll call two. And over here we'll call that one Three. There we go. Okay, Charlie, what is the dimensions for rectangular solid number one? Charlie, what's the length? Ten. Okay, and the width? Three. And the height? Four. Very good. Okay, Charlie, keep it going. Here we go. Rectangular solid two. What's the length? Thirteen. And the width? Three. And the height? Five. There you go, Charlie. Okay, now we got to do this third one over here, Charlie. Give us a length. Twenty. And the width? Three. And the height. That would be six. Very nice, Charlie. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and calculate the volumes. Remember, the formula for volume is length times width times height. There it is up there, Charlie. Write it down twice. <laughs> That's right. Okay, now let's find the volume for a rectangular solid one. Go ahead, Charlie. How do you find the volume? Remember, length times width times height. So what is it, Charlie? 120 inches cubed. Very nice, Charlie. Very good. Okay, let's do rectangular solid number two. Go for it, Charlie. Bust a move. 195? Very nice, Charlie. <sighs> Charlie's on today. Okay, now we got this last one to do. It's over there. Rectangular solid three. This is a tough one, right? You got 20 times three. Go ahead, Charlie. Don't let me distract you. <laughs> what do you get, Charlie? 360. Very nice, Charlie. There we go. So we have the volumes of our three rectangular solids all listed up there for you. Now, how do we find the total volume of the staircase, Charlie, what do we have to do? You sum them all up. That's right, we got to sum them all up. So here we go. Volume total is volume one plus volume two plus volume three. 
Okay, now go ahead and write down all your volumes. Okay, volume total is volume one, there it is. Volume two, volume three. Don't forget, the dimensions for volume are what, Charlie? Inches cubed. Inches cubed, okay? It's written as inches with a little three as an exponent. That's inches cubed, okay? Now, go ahead and add them all up, Charlie. We'll give you a minute. Let's see you do some of that kung fu math. Gosh. You getting it, Charlie? Try it. Okay, we'll give you a little bit more time. He's working hard. What'd you get, Charlie? Time's up. 675. 675 inches cubed. <laughs> Very nice, Charlie. So anyway, that completes our lectures on rectangular solids for now. Now remember, Charlie, you better keep up with the homework and you better get this stuff down. Now remember, you don't have to get this stuff down now. You can always come back and do it. Here it comes. Next semester. So anyway, we hope to see you all soon.